Hi everyone, welcome back to another Cut Above. I'm Chris, your host, and today I'm bringing you another shaving video. And that's about as close as I'll ever get to speaking English and being like Jack over the virtual groom room. This shave, however, will feature one of his, which I've just realised, quite unique lather styles. I didn't actually realise this until I, until I watched his video and actually really concentrated on how he lathers. But I'm going to do it and I'm going to talk you through what I see when he does it. I don't even know whether he notices that he does it. Right, so soap for today is to back. There is the lid. Brilliant, isn't it? It's got nothing written on it, but that is the lid from it. I have it soaking here. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to wet my face first. This is a, a no prep shave. I had a shower late last night. It's now early afternoon. I'll have a shower late again today. I seem to be showering at night for some reason. I do generally go out and run around and sweat and stuff. So I shower late at night. Just works best for me. I'm going to pour out the, the soaking water onto my hand here and just chuck some of that on my face. And this can be like Jack's pre-shave from Declaration Grooming that he sticks on. Is it Declaration Grooming? Yeah, I think it is. Or is it Grooming Department? <laughs> Do you know something? I get those two confused quite a bit. Right, the brush of choice for today was already picked out before I decided to do this video and it is my 27mm Omega Bowl Knot which has been set into my custom Grey Dog handle. Now Grey Dog designed and put this all together. It is Spalty Dog on the bottom, this part here, from his back garden and Bloodwood on the top. And this Bloodwood is a beautiful wood. I love a whole handle in this wood, it's absolutely stunning. And the knot is phenomenal. So here we go, we've got the soap here. I'm going to lather it up. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to get loads of proto lather, spill it all over the sides and then spend five minutes rubbing it on my face before I actually start lathering because that's what Jack does. <laughs> he's Next to Nomeo Shaves, Leroy over there, he's by far and away the longest lather. And I lather for a long time. But I think they, those guys are the winners of uh, lather length. But to be fair, Jack's ladders generally are exceptional. His lathering is brilliant. He's got a he's got a great way of making all soaps look the same in a sense. They, they all have that sort of gloss and sheen and shine and everything. And he gets them all there. They just obviously all perform slightly differently once he gets to that point. So there we go, get some of this virtual grim room ladder spilling over the side here. So it's Tuesday the 28th of April today. I just checked my watch two minutes ago, so... Actually, it would be four minutes ago, because two minutes ago I was in the shaving video. Right, I've got enough soap loaded into that knot to last me 37 days. So... Wow, holy shit. I wasn't actually expecting this much. This is way worse. Now, of course, I don't have a, a little goatee beard to trouble me. There's enough lather you to shave with. This is thick, it's not like the usual pro lather. <laughs> It's a very, very good soap to back. So there's one thing that I've noticed is quite unique with Jack. And I only just noticed it today because I actually studied his ladder a little bit. And I should have done that before I had a look at Ken Surf's ladder and trying to do a Paul H ladder. I was just sort of going from memory. And as we all know, my memory is absolutely shit. So what he does is he paints it all on. He does a bit of a, right, he scoops onto there and just keeps painting. I'm having to think about this here. And then I think he dips the tips and then he goes straight into a ladder. Now, his lather, his face ladders, should be called a neck lather or a right hand side neck lather because he pretty much does this for the whole shave, creating the lather. Right here. And then he paints it on. Then 
Tips of tips, straight to the same spot. This is going to kill me because this is where I get most of my irritation on this bit. But I'm going to stick to it. I'm pretty sure it's the right hand side from looking at it from memory from watching these videos recently. Paints it on. Dips of tips. Straight back here. And when he talks, he talks like that. Because he stretches it so far that it changes his voice. Instead of just talking normal. I don't know, I don't get that part. I hope he's watching this and having a laugh. And not getting upset. <laughs> back in a sec. What's up? Switch it off and under, switch it off at the wall. Okay. Well, you need to switch it off at the wall and switch it back on, that's all I would do. Turn, turn the router off and turn the internet off. Good old Wi Fi. Paints it back on. See, this is adding to the, the effect of how long it takes in the ladder. It's great, isn't it? And I tell you what, it's working. There's the tips, straight back here. And we'll just talk about like that for a minute. Just, you know what I mean? <laughs> I've actually just found a towel, which was, I think it was actually given to me as a gift when we first left Scotland back in 2007. And it's got Glaswegian terms. So what I'm planning on doing is adding that to my shaves. Sorry, he scoops it on here, doesn't he? Because he's got, a be this lad is amazing today. Bit of tips. Now, I don't know whether Jack's ever actually noticed this, or whether anyone's ever mentioned it. But he lathers, he does all of his actual face lathering right there. He never really lathers anywhere else, he paints everything on there. It's very unique. And what it sort of does is fair enough. I shall be back. All right, and we're back. This lather has dried a little bit. I just had a phone call from my son's school. I'm just sorting out his schooling, trying to get it all right for him. So here we go, back to the old Jack's virtual groom room lather. I'm just gonna try and speed this up a little bit. Because we're miles in now, and this lather is taking so much water. I've overloaded this brush. This is a typical, Virtual groom room lather here, far too much soap, not enough time. Now you can see that that is exceptional, but it's a bit dry. So what we do now is we get the brush in and let's just paint the water in. I think in only, let's just sprinkle some on there let's, and just paint it in. Now, of course, this is never going to be like Jack's because I don't have a goatee beard to Worker, this is one of the best ladders I've ever made. <laughs> is, he, is he onto something here? This is seriously creamy, dense ladder. Sprinkle a bit more water on, paint it in. There's not enough moisture in here yet. That looks phenomenal. I think Jack would be very proud of that. And I know you'll watch this. He's been wanting this video for a while himself. To see how I do with his ladder technique. That is absolutely amazing. So yeah, with this ladder, I'd almost be putting this in my top 10 soaps. <laughs> to be honest, I've got like a top 40 soaps. There are no bad artisans, there are just different artisans. That's the way I look at it now. It's the mass produced stuff that makes hit or miss, really. Right, into the straight razor. That's pretty much the end of my Jack's virtual groom room experience. The rest of it's all just what I do. And I'm gonna be using my Feather Artist Club stainless steel. Fifth use on this blade, and this blade gets smoother and smoother with use. So here we go. Daily shaves with a chevet. And at the moment, oh God, I 
just want to show you this. I've just dropped that in the water. Is that not phenomenal? That's one of the best ladders I've ever created. It's actually far too dry. It's far too dry. Needs to keep some more water, but I'll be here all day. Really, I should do it because I know Jack would need to still be lathering this tomorrow. Phenomenal. Really good. I'm at I mean I've definitely overloaded the brush. But when you get a ladder like that, I mean holy shit, there's no bubbles in it. It's so dense. I mean it's it's washing off reasonably well. Not completely clean it, it is sticking a bit to the blade so it needs quite a bit more moisture in it but I'm just going to go with it as it is. Weep it there. Weeper there with the green pass. This ladder's too dry. And I've left a bit of soap about, but there's that much of it, I'm not that worried. I'm going to start with a fresh sink because it's so full of soap. Okay, so one thing I'm noticing is it's, a, it's very red there in comparison to the rest of my face. Now, essentially what you could do is take Jack's technique and use it on a part of your neck or face that generally doesn't really get affected by irritation, which for me would be this side of my neck. So I've just stuck to his technique and his side and all that, but if I did it on this side, it would be less, and I would have no scrubbing on this side. It does make sense. Maybe that's why that section of his neck, maybe that's his least irritated part of his neck, and he's figured that out subconsciously, and, and that's why I land this like that. Look at this. Right, how does he do this again? I think he sort of... bit dry so I'm just going to paint some water in. I would say this is the first copycat ladder that I've almost sort of got spot on. I'm really happy with it. In fact, this ladder is the best I've ever made with tobacco and one of the best ladders I've ever made, period.
see there now, a little rinse in the water, crystal clear, plenty of hydration in there now, let's see how it feels against the grain. Was brilliant. I'm really starting to get a nice feel for this razor. This is a second pass lather. It's been sitting in the water and it still looks phenomenal. Right, a little bit of water. It's very, very slick still. It's not a scent I love, it's a scent I like. It does have a barber shop ring to it. It does have that sort of scent thing, that sort of creamy powdery type scent that barber shops have got that I like. It's just way stronger and way more old man smelling. It really does smell like old men. Some people love this type of sort of, it's a sweet tobacco scent, I believe, with sort of powderiness and muskiness. I mean, at the end of the day, it's been around for years, it still sells, still does well, and the soap is phenomenal. I'm going to finish off with a calf today, um, I went for another so I'll do this way. What mate? Yeah. Right. It's just a bit of water. Getting too rough with the carve now. Finding my touch with the straight or with the chevette and losing my touch with the carve. Although I do forget how sharp the, the Gillette vintage blades are. the brush off. So I don't know about you guys, that was a very, very, very long ladder. <laughs> Way longer than I normally ladder for. 
But it turned out pretty good. I will say, a neck is a little bit red, where lathered and lathered and lathered. It works. But, you know, the technique works for this. I don't know whether he's ever noticed it before. He probably has. It's probably been mentioned and I haven't read it in the comments. So probably mentioned it himself and it's a bit that I've missed. I don't know. You don't have to be gentle with this, no. Just beat the shit out of it. Definitely got some weepers down there. So I'm going to finish off now with this first. The Tabac Original Aftershave Lotion Après Rassage. Since 1959. Now, I do like glass bottle, make like top cap, really. Smells better than the silk now. It's actually, it's not too bad, this stuff. I, I do actually don't mind using this. One, two, three splashes, pure alcohol, pretty much. This is going to sting. Oh, yeah. wait. <laughs> it's going to sting, all right. Right, the burn is gone. Now, to back, aftershave lotion. I can just walk out the door with this and it does actually give a very nice post shave feel. Of course, I am going to finish off with some of this in a second. I'm going to talk about the products first. Tabac Original, since 1959. Shaving soap comes in a beautiful ceramic tub, ceramic or milk glass, I think this probably is milk glass, with a Bakelite lid. I think it's brilliantly packaged. I think it looks great. It's good quality. The brush for today, it's one of my favourites really. I love this brush. I love the knot. And the handle is stunning, made by Grey Dog. It's a beautiful knot. The knot itself gets better with every use. But the thing I love about this is it never loses its backbone. You know, I'm pushing quite hard there. It's, it's always got backbone, but the soft tips are just phenomenal. So, just try and get them to slow down some bleeding a little bit. The first razor was the Feather Artist Club Stainless Steel from Japan. Excuse me, I'm getting better and better with this. I'm feeling more and more confident, smoother and smoother every time. I am still liking finishing with the carve just to get those close, to get that closeness, that last little touch. I'm finding it against the grain pass with the Feather now is getting great. I'm not getting many weepers, I'm still getting them, but not as many. See, that post shave is really nice. Sorry, the initial post shave, as Jack would say, is very nice. You don't know how the post shave is going to be until later down the line. But I know the post shave is going to be fantastic because this stuff will make it so. AP Reserve Essentials Restoration Peptide Concentrate Serum. We're getting better at that as well. Just wet my hands. Damp hands. Take the lid off. One squirt. And what's that? I rub this all over, forehead, eyes, everything. Now the hope is that putting this on is going to dull down the scent of the tobacco because it is strong and it's not a wife favourite. As Rudd would say, different channel, the wife doesn't find it sexy at all. I think she thinks it makes me smell like a sweet ashtray. Done all that, done all that, finished off with the back original. I don't think I mentioned that, did I? The carve, then to back original, after shave lotion, and finished off with AP Reserve Essentials Restoration Peptide Concentrate Serum, which I think is going to last quite a long time. And other than that one weeper that keeps going, that's another cracking shave. You can see there, you can, maybe you can't, it's just ever so slightly redder just in that area, but nothing major. And I think the lather really was exceptional today. I was really happy with it. So with that, stay safe, drive safe, don't drink and drive, and I'll catch you guys next time. Cheers.